Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Chrono Cross. Where we last left off, we we're headed into the Dragon Isle shore. And you know what? Actually, let me uh, let me do a sound check, and make sure everything's running a-okay. Because I am using DX Tori for the first time on this uh, series. Hopefully, I think that stops the uh, uh, the stuttering, the stuttering, the slowdown. Not the stuttering of my voice, the, the game stuttering. Uh, so yeah, let me do a little quick check, real quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. So, hold on to your boats. And we're good. We are okay, so let's continue on in this Let's Play to Water Dragon Isle Shore. We have our three awesome party members. Serge, Nikki, and Glenn. Why do we look so pixelated, huh? Interesting. Anyways, like I said, we are using uh, DX Tori for the first time in this Let's Play. All right, guy, what is up? It's hard to believe, but according to the fairies here, the legendary Dragon God really exists. That thick wall of ice blocking the entrance into the underground cavern proves it. El Nido sure is full of mysteries. Uh, isn't your name Thomas? In El Nido, I've heard that the people sometimes refer to the dragon gods as the gods of nature. If you take a different perspective, you can say these dragons' powers are the forces of nature. If anyone got a hold of such power, it's frightening just to think about it. Water is coming through my mouth because I am speaking like a madman. Alright, let's keep on going. Talk to this chubsy wubsy. The forces of nature are astonishing. This place we're standing in was covered with water just a few days ago, but now it's run dry due to the unusual weather we've been having lately. It is not a pretty sight. Uh, indeed, good sir. Alright, what's in the chest? Iron. Very nice. We need that to uh, make weapons. So, uh, I actually might have to do some grinding, huh? This looks interesting. What's here? Nothing? Alright. Got a monster guarding the treasure chest. I cannot go that way. Mm. My mouth is numb. I don't know why. Iron. More iron. Good, good, good. Mm. It's bothering me. It's like right behind my two buck teeth. It's like... <laughs> it's it's really... It's a it's weird feeling. And I don't like it. It is really bothering me. Alright, let's climb up this thing if we can. We can't. Alright, let's climb up this. Man, my mouth. Anyways, I'll do my best to keep on talking. As of late, everyone's talking about the existence of dragons. We adventurers have been researching it for a while now, though. I don't care what else you have to say. You just want to talk about the water dragon isle and the dragon that inhabits it. And, um... Yada, 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 boring stuff I do not care about. So, let us continue. Oh, there's a guy here that we should probably talk to, huh? Mm, yeah, this way. I found this thing at the dried up waterfall. It's kind of creepy, so I'll give it to you for free. Oh, no thanks needed. Ah, don't mention it. I have nothing to do with it now, so see ya. Sturdy ribs. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's good to talk to people. You get ribs. Yummy, yummy ribs. Boneless ribs. No, actually, meatless ribs. Alright, so what is the way to go? I think these guys are okay with us. Well, not really, but yeah, they won't fight us. Although we can fly, we fairies aren't very s strong, and we can't fly too far. <laughs> it's a different story if we can catch the wind, but the wind is capri capricious. Capricious, ca capricious, just like we are. Rosetta. Dear sirs, have you come to this island seeking the dragon god? If so, please turn back now. Due to the abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. This island, once called the Island of Springs, is desolate as you now see. Anything else you got to say? The water dragon once reigned over this island, but that was long ago. The entrance to the underground caverns has now been completely sealed, and it is impossible to enter. So I assume she's just going to keep babbling on about the, the the dragon of isles. We have more fairies here. I don't think it'll do us any good to talk to them, so let's talk to them. This was a while back. 
but one fairy was blown away by a strong wind and has been lost ever since. I know who that is. The wind isn't always on our side. It sometimes betrays us and brings sadness upon us. Let's get this treasure chest. More iron. Good. We can make the stuffs with it. Is there any chests up here? No. Hey, uh, Pinky. Alright, so... Nothing up here, seems like. Perhaps we do need to talk to them so we can get through that gate, that, uh, not gate, that, that ice. Oh, my throat. I think I'm catching a cold. The mist of the sea is an invitation to the, invitation to the dark, embracing darkness. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? A small star fell into the sea of the triplet isles. That was, that was long a time ago. Hmm. I think I know what that is, too. Alright, let's go up here and see what the uh, dealio is with this thing. Can... Um... There's nothing we can use. Perhaps we should talk to um, Rosetta, is that her name? R Rapunzel? I don't know. What's your name? Rosetta. The water dragon once, but that was long ago, has now been completely sealed and is impossible to enter. Is that all you're going to say? Yeah. Huh. So then, now what? If I remember this game, it uh, was pretty much... It was pretty forward about what you should do. It pretty much gave you everything you need to. Uh, oh, wait, wait, what? We fairies are born from the morning the large tree that stands... Alright. Yeah, the, the game is pretty much forward about what you need to do, so... Uh, I think I'm missing something here. Probably need to speak to someone or find another way through. Uh, let's go back to this guy that gave me the sturdy ribs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let's go talk to this guy once more. Maybe he's got something to say. It's hard to believe, but according to the dragon god, that thick wall of... Alright, so... So now what? Uh... I... I don't know. We're supposed to go get a blessing from the dragon god, if I recall. Let's try going through here then, I guess. It usually tells us on our save. Let's go ahead and save. On to the water dragon isle in search of the dragon blue. So yeah, that. I think there is something we're missing here. Might have to go take a look at the walkthrough. I mean, I could go explore every square inch of this uh, land, but oh yeah, see, I need the, I need an item for that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go take a look at the walkthrough, see what I need to do, cause I don't remember. Uh, just save time for both you and me, because I may not be able to play much longer right now. Um, but I'd like to get at least two episodes worth of uh, content. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna check the walk walk through just uh, just a bit, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So wait here. Okay, so I got the gist of it. I didn't really read into it too much, but uh, basically I need to return to Gold Dove and uh, go check up on Kid. Um, let's see, what did you want? Uh. Sure. Um, let's see, is there anything? No. If there's iron, I'd take that, but nah, you don't have it. Now do you? Let's see if we can get something uh, from him. As you notice, there is no, no um, slowing down of the stuffs. <clears throat> Brass pick. We need a feather. Alright, well... 
there's anything exciting. Uh, I want to go check the elements. Um, there might be some interesting ones that we can buy. I read a part where it said there are new elements that you can buy. So, let's go do that. Uh, do you. Welcome. It's a small shop. Where do I buy the elements? I, I can't remember for the life of me. Hmm. I don't want to waste too much time. Too much your time, too much my time. Let's just go continue with the story. And uh, maybe I'll go to Terminator and buy elements there. Yeah. Alright, well. Demi humans and their grudge against the humans, and vice versa. Anyways, the doctor's office is in here. Let's go see how you're doing, kid. Event time. Oh, this song is so sad. What is going on? Where is Kid? Do not tell me she. Search. It's not your fault. Ta-da! What are you guys all doing there? Oh, it's been a while, huh? But what's with the astonished look on your faces? Huh? What? Where was I? Oh, I complained about the sissy gown and then they hid me own clothes somewhere to stop me from trying to escape. So I had no choice but to take a walk around the village looking like this. Anyway, what's up with you guys? Did you come back because you were worried about me? Yes. <sighs> I ain't gonna drop dead from such a weak old poison like that. But I guess it was a pretty close call this time, huh? <laughs> but how did you neutralize the poison? Sorry, I haven't the foggiest idea either. The doc will be back this afternoon, so let's ask him then. You are here to ask me how I was able to neutralize the poison. Yeah, there's nothing to lose by knowing how, right, Doc? It was a coincidence. No, it was probably an act of fate. After you left the village, a young man came to visit me upon hearing of the patient's condition from a villager. He had brought a certain item with him. A certain item? You don't mean... Yes, it was Hydra humor. He happened to have a vial of it with him at the time. Hey Doc, who was that guy? Do you at least know his name? I'm sorry, I do not know. He only told me that he came from the mainland. Came from the mainland? At least give me a chance to thank him. Jeez. I hate being in debt to others. Ah, oh, hell. When I find him, I'll... Wait, that's not what I want to do. That is all I know. In the end, I prove useless as a doctor. It is not something I could have... That could have... Uh, that could be forgiven. But I've offered my apologies. Hey, wait, Doc. What's with the formality? No matter what else happened, you're the one that made the antidote, right? It would have been useless without you, even if we did have the right stuff. Thank you, kid. Oh, stop that. I'm the one that should be thanking you. No worries, Doc. Well, the only thing that buys, uh, that bugs me is the guy that brought that humor, was it? I guess I caused you blokes a heap of trouble, too. Hey, don't worry, I'm no good at this, but thanks. So, what are you dudes planning to do next? Do you intend to continue your journey? On your journey. That's right, we've still got things to, cake, uh, to take care of. We'll be leaving by tomorrow. Surge has got a lot of problems that need to be solved. Well then, will you allow me to join in your party? I would like to broaden my horizons as a doctor. Will I be too much of a nuisance to you? 
Whoa, having a doctor with us will be a great help. Besides, how can I turn down a request from a lifesaver? We're more than happy to have you with us, bro. I love this song. Thank you kindly. It has gotten late, and I need to make preparations. It would be probably... It would probably be better if we leave tomorrow. Please rest here for the night. I see, so... That's what's been going on around here while I was snoozing away here. You say Viper and his mob are headed for Fort Dragonia, huh? Did you hear? Fort Dragonia is the oldest ruin that the Dragonians left on this planet. From what I hear, we need the Dragon Tear to activate the fort. Don't you remember, Serge? It's that blue orb that was on the top of old Viper's desk. A blue orb. Yes, I remember. Great, so I don't have to waste my breath explaining it then. If I ain't mistaken, that was that orb was probably taken uh, was probably the dragon tear. I cannot I can't read. Which means that it's the old in the hands of the old Viper right now. I cannot believe it. The general has the dragon tear, but why? To activate the ruin, there's no doubt about that. In any case, we can't just sit back and let this happen. An impenetrable fortress surrounding by, surrounded by rough terrain, and I hear it is also sealed by the powers of the Dragonians. Is the general trying to stop the poor military with it? Who knows? Even I don't know that, but I wouldn't say that it's not a possibility. Then we must head to Fort Dragonia. Unfortunately, Mount Pier is a rugged obstacle that lies on the path to the fort. From what I have heard, the place is a fiery hell. Trying to cross the mountain unprepared will be hard going. Come to think of it, that captain said we should obtain the divine protection of the water dragon. But the water source of water dragon isle has run dry. Even the fairy said that the water dragon is no longer in this world. Does that mean we have to climb Mount Pier on our own? Dragons, eh? This is getting bigger by the minute. But I think this problem can be easily taken care of. What do you mean by that? Serge, you hold the key of, to our problems. You heard the story from the village shaman, right? The story about the land of Genesis. Kid, are you talking about the other world? The world where Serge came from? Yeah, that's right. The situation in each world is different, right? Things missing in one world can be found in the other. If that's true, then we still stand a chance. But how are we going to get to the other world? My amulet. <laughs> Excuse my burp. Amulet? Yeah, my astral amulet. It's the other key to solving our problem. I don't know if you've heard from the shaman, but you need lots of power to cross the dimensions. She said it was something about the powers of hope and will. <clears throat> According to the shaman, this amulet has that sort of power. Normally, I would have just thought she was crazy, but this time, maybe I ought to listen to her. My throat's getting dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. This amulet alone ain't enough to cross dimensions, though. We need the other key to make the connection between this world and the other world connection. So you're saying that surges this key? According to the shaman, that's right. Someone that someone that's not supposed to be in this world. That's uh, the that's the link to a world that was uh, severed 10 years ago. The missing piece of the puzzle. That's the lowdown. The rest is up to you, Serge. We need to first get that divine protection or whatever from the dragon. Ha ha ha, well I don't know about you, but I probably don't need no dragon's protection to get me through hot water, but that's just me. We gotta head to the land of Genesis, the place where this all began. Only you know where that is. Before we go, I'll leave this in your keeping for a while, but don't you dare lose it, Tommy. Surge received Astral Amulet! All right, let's go to the place where this all began. 
Lovely. Now we can switch. Ooh, look at that resolution. Holy cow. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> I don't get why it does that. That's really weird. Uh, Alright, let's make sure she has everything uh, she needs. The elements. Alright. Gravity blow. Let's throw that there. Cure plus. Let's throw that there. Heal. She has a heal. Ice blast. Let's throw that there. Arrow saucer. Alright. Fire pillar. Let's put that there. Why not? Uh, Bushmasher. Upheaval. Hell soul. That's level 2. We need a level... Oh yeah. Electro jolt. That'll do. Alright. Let's do... R1. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So we need something sweet. Something awesome. I, I guess we... Let's put heal all over here, actually. And then Glenn. He's got one more. So... Uh, let's see. Arrow Saucer might go good over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good in the neighborhood. Sup, Doc? Now let's uh, go to the other world. Let's see, we can go through Termina actually. I need to pick up a bone. Or, uh, I got a bone to pick. <laughs> there we go, that's, uh, that's, that's a pun. Termina. Alright, let's go check out the elements. This is going to be a, probably a long episode. I I try to aim for like one, one at least one good fight each episode. Uh, that may or may not happen this episode or last episode if we uh, switched. Uh, I just try to go for one, one major event to each episode. Sometimes that's hard to do because there's a lot of uh, stuff you gotta gotta go through. <coughs> gotta mess with this cheery music. All right, Lisa. Give us some elementes. What have we got? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of use. Nothing I don't already have. Alright. Let's go through, um... Whatchamacallit Valley. I, I forget what it's called. I play this game so much I don't even remember. Fossil Valley. Uh, north. That's where I want to be. Is that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that egg, too. <laughs> I should be able to get the egg. Oh, right, and flowers, flowers. I can get flowers. All right, so anyways. Oh, scary face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, huh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body. I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body parts. So how about it? Will you help me find my body? Sure thing, guy. Yak, 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 yeah. I'm heavier than I look, but I hope you don't mind. Then don't swing me around too much. I start feeling nauseousness. Heavy skull received. Is there anything in here? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I can't go that way. All right. Mm. Dodge him. All right, flowers. Bell flower. I think uh, Glenn needs that, if I'm correct. Anyways, let's go down here. I have to deal with that uh, dodo. Is that what it's called? I think that's what this monster is called. Yeah, what you gonna do? Ah, let's fight it, why not? <laughs> uh, showcase the new battle, or um, the the great uh, lossless recording. Don't know, that's what it's called. Look at that, so smooth. Amazing. Thank you, DX Tori. Alright, what is your element? You're black. Alright, white, white. So we use a black element on you. Eat Gravitone. 
Dodo. 67. Squark! He screams. Or she. I guess it's a she, because that's why she has a, an egg, right? Sometimes the males protect their eggs, right? I don't know. Steal from you. What do we get? A feather, <laughs> of course. Squark! He screams. Paralyzed with fear. Now you're dead with fear. <laughs> Alright. We didn't even take any damage. We got a bone off of that. Alright, can we jump down? We cannot. Anyways, we got an egg. So that's uh, cool beans, yo. Now we um, get to the get to the business, the the point, the advance the plot. Hit two. All right, so I'm going this way because there are dogs that way that may or may not attack me, and I don't want to fight them right now. Just want to advance the plot, you know. Just walk through. Goodbye, Arne Village. Hello, Lizard Rock. Opasa Beach. And here we are. Oh, okay. Event. Opasa Beach. Yeah, so this is it. The point of contact and the starting point. This is the cross point. Chrono Cross. What do we do now, Search? Uh, oh, okay. I move. Ooh. An open seam to the world, a wormhole that must that traverses dimensions. The world's calling you, Surge. Calling the lost piece of the puzzle. So this is the dimensional wormhole that connects the two worlds. Alright. Uh, so... There we go. Yeah. And now we are in the next dimension. Ha, that was it. I wonder how they made it through. So now we are in that other world. I still cannot believe it though. Interesting. I've always wondered how they made it through when Surge is the special one. Ah ha ha, lovely. So, where to? <laughs> I assume Termina is where I want to go. Let's check out Arnie Village, though. See if there's anything there. If there's not, hey. Oh, it's you, Surge. So you want to go to the? Perhaps you said. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is how I do things here. Why, hello there, Surge. Can I interest you in some great elements? Of course you can. Show me your weapons and armor. Forge? I didn't know you could make weapons. You crazy lady, you cray. Thanks, come again. Hmm. Is Radius over here? He should be. He better be. There you are, Radius. Oh, Surge, how goes it? Would you like to would you like to join me for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of maybe next time. You've learned well, Sonny. You'll do just fine. Uh, is there anything in here? This is a nostalgic, you know. This is his uh town. The one that everyone knows him in. This is his home. It's special. It's like uh, his homecoming. There's a postal. Oh, sure, is that pink dog that you were looking at in the background? I'm sure you were looking at it. Alrighty, tidy, let's go in here. See if there's anything special. There's a Komodo dragon. In the other world, we had a weird, strange looking doll. Over here, we got fishies. Hey, guy. What? Another me? And it wasn't a fishing? Are you serious? Sounds like a dream to me. Alright. Yeah, nothing important there. Let's go to the docks. Talk to the guy, get him to take us to Water Dragon Isle Shore. 
It is dark in my room and I need to turn on the lights, but I will not until I finish recording because I'm too lazy. <laughs> hey, Lena. I got a new girlfriend. You had me worried sick. You just suddenly disappeared from the beach. That was some magic trick. Don't you even think about pulling that one again. What's this? Ooh, yeah, okay. Okay, guy. Wake up. Yeah. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, take me to Water Dragon Isle. Sure, why not? It's only 100. Yeah, cheapskate. There we go. <sighs> Notice the map change. How there is water in this, uh, on this island now. Cool. Cool. All right, now we gotta do a little puzzle so we can get to the end. Oh ho! It's been a while since I've visited this isle, but its beauty never fades. Ooh, burp! Excuse me, but there's something strange. I don't see any of the fairies that usually dance around the pond. Hmm. Oh, pardon me. There's a small village uh, of fairies on this isle. Uh, it should take you just beyond this. Pond. I don't know what brings you to the isle, but it's best to ask the fairies to learn about the place. In the meantime, I'll be around here fishing. Pond is great for fishing. I understand. Alright, so we got to figure out this little puzzle. And, uh... Maybe get some chests along the way. Maybe not. This doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. This might take a while. I will see you guys when I get to the other side.